Saturday night, it's late in the day, and uh, we're gonna make some basic tower busters. First, we're gonna elevate cannabis medicine. Wouldn't you agree? It's been a nice day today. They started spraying just now, but uh, they can't, you know, sometimes they really can't penetrate the organite barrier that we create. And we have orgone energy in our, in our selves. The earth has orgone energy. Mountains have orgone energy. It's everywhere. What they're trying to do is suppress that natural orgone energy. So by making organite, we are basically just activating the natural systems. It's kind of like when you smoke this, you already have the cannabinoids, I can't never say it, uh, receptors or whatever inside our body. And, and uh, this just activates it. So it's all about activating it. It's all about activating the natural divine systems that are already in place that the parasites are trying to suppress. And I, could, I think we can, uh, we can get past this whole conspiracy theory thing and acknowledge that there are parasites. There are entities that don't want us to thrive. And how we can win this spiritual war is uh, obviously love, uh, but also energy and uh, taking back activating the good energy that's everywhere on this planet and uh, within ourselves and uh, once we take our power back they don't really stand a chance I think everyone kind of knows this they just get caught up in all the earthly distractions and, and bullshit that they, they want us to be distracted with. They want you to be, you know, whatever. I don't even want to talk about what they want. I want to talk about what I want. What I'm going to do is make 24 tower busters, and we're going to go. We're going to go gift these at various towers around Sonoma County because they're popping up everywhere like mushrooms. And guess what? If they want to pop up everywhere like mushrooms, where you know there's there's like three towers in the vicinity of like. Square, square miles or two square miles, you know, 20 feet, whatever. There's no, they're, they're irrational. They're, you'll see like four towers right near each other and, you know, someone will say, well, that's for cell phone coverage, you know, and, and your phone won't have good coverage at all <laughs> there. So it's really, it's really pretty, pretty ridiculous. Um, but, uh, we're gonna, you know, make some basic ones. I have aluminum, and uh, I'm gonna throw in some brass keys, some copper coils. You don't really need too much. You don't need too many metals. You just need, for, for, for tower bus or something, you, you're gonna bury near the tower, under the tower, in a place of, uh, like, foliage, if you can, because that's that way it activates the Earth's energies and uh, stays hidden, because they have workers that I guarantee there's they tell these workers pick up any of these organites you see around the towers because I've dropped some off at some of these fake trees gone back they're gone so uh, you know and, and much like the chemtrail pilots uh, whether they know what's going on or they don't know what's going on it's the same thing with these tower workers they are the new chemtrail pilots they're the ones that get paid to go activate these things, set them up, install them, whatever, service them, much like these pilots are spraying this stuff, you know, they're getting paid, and no one's going to turn down a paycheck to do something that they're qualified to do. It's common sense. That stems back to money. Money is, you know, the root of all evil. This fiat currency, debt slavery system they have in place, that's like Babylonian bullshit, you know, it's the way to control people, and, uh, and you can see how they're still controlling people with, with the, the money, so, 
uh, I'll pay you to do this and you'll poison the people. Uh, we have five, 528 HD, the love frequency plan. I try to play that as my organite's curing, um, because when it's curing, it's really kind of harnessing the energy that's around um, before it becomes a complete piece and it's ready to go, like these two are. So I try to uh, get that nice frequency. You want to do 528 or 432 HD hertz. Um, Not only is it beautiful music, but it's like, you know, a certain frequency that programs these to be really strong. And that's my whole point of doing these, these artsy ones, with all these elements and crystals and, and powdered metals, is to make them as powerful as possible for you. So, I mean, one of these XLs, there's no doubt in my mind, is powering this neighborhood right now. Um, that sounds crazy, I know, but... There's three Ormus elixirs, there's six kinds of metals, there's gold, foil in there, leaf, there's copper, I, the quartz is mined from a really good soul from Brazilian mines and caves, I mean, stuff works. You're crying. Um, they'll be okay. Their mom's here. So mom's making dinner. Their mom's awesome, by the way. A uh, good life partner lets me do these videos, take time away. I get shit for it sometime, but that's warranted, I think. But I feel obligated to do this stuff, not only because it's fun for me, but I feel called to doing it. And it just seems like when you're tapped into your mission and what is important, like what's in your heart, what, where your consciousness is at, it's a pretty good place to be. I mean, I, my whole life I've been like searching for who I am and looking in the wrong places and this feels good to be able to do something that, that helps heal. It's kind of an ego booster, I mean, because I love making art that I can kind of show off. And that's like the one little ego thing I get out of it. Like, hey, I put it in the work. But everyone does that. Who, does, who doesn't have something that they show off to someone? Everyone does. I don't care what you do. You have one thing that you show off to people once in a while that you're proud of and you're passionate about. That should be a good thing, not a bad thing. So I love seeing other organized artists who I'm like, damn. They put their heart and their soul into that. I guarantee they did, because <laughs> I, I know I am. And to get something that looks like that, you really have to, you know, there's just, it's a labor of love. So, I love other uh, organized artists, and artists in general, anyone who's using their, their right brain, their, their instincts, their divine feminine, their divine masculine, and, and not just this uh, robotic, logical, rational thing that they want you to be, you know, this whole transhumanist agenda, I mean, you can see it playing out, and I don't want any part of it, as long as we stay human with compassion, love, and, you know, art, art you know, artistic creativity, and, you know, and, you know, I love the word compassion, because it's like passion, uh, You know, calm passion. You know, it's like you can use calm. Calm is an interesting. Look up calm. Look up what calm, what the, the 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 root of what that means. I mean, I took Latin for four years, so but I'm gonna make you go look for that one. All right. Anyways, um, so let's get started. It's getting late in the day, and uh, let's let's. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna spray these down with nonstick spray. You can use really anything. Uh, that doesn't doesn't you know doesn't uh, make these things stick. So uh, let's do it.
You know, it's really interesting about this whole process is uh, the people you meet along the way and then and uh, like online or in, 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 in public and, and those relationships that form because you're on the same frequency and you don't really know what frequency it is or what you know you just know that that you feel called to be with these people and uh, that's what's hard for me personally is being at work I just feel like I don't want to be there doing this like robotic corporate slave stuff and I, I uh, feel like there's some people there that are like, happy to be there I don't know <laughs> I get confused because I think people don't want to be there but then they stay there for a while and, and uh, seem to get comfortable and accept this uh, you know passive way of working and living and I don't want to do that so I want to be on the frequency of uh, love and uh, creativity and, uh, just you know calling answering the call that you feel you know is being uh, directed at you so yeah anyways uh, what we're gonna do is so now we spray down the pans and uh, what we're gonna do is put metal. You don't want to ever put the crystal in in first because the crystal is very heavy. Uh, one of my buyers recently I sold an XL Giza to, and the, I used one of the biggest quartz I've ever used in an XL, and it was so heavy when it was curing that it, uh, it didn't the resin didn't cure all the way around the crystal, and so it looked like a crack. It was really just the way the resin cured. It wasn't like it came out, you know, perfectly, and then it cracked. You know, no, it's just, that's how it goes. And these are these are imperfection. These are art. They're not going to be perfect every time. My point is, though, you don't want to put the crystal on the very bottom because they are heavy, and the resin will have a hard time getting under the crystal. So you want to always have like a little layer where the crystal can just sit on. And the metal, these metal shavings, these alumina, aluminum, there's some uh, steel in there. That is, uh, it's like a nice just, it's like a little, you know, pad of, of where this, the crystal can sit. And I use copper because it's, you know, copper is conductive and kind of uh, routes the energy and you know copper wire everyone's heard of copper wire um, and every time I go and get brass at this uh, this guy's shoe shop in downtown San Francisco he gives me he gives me brass from the keys he's cut but then he gives me keys too and <laughs> I think he thinks that he's like throwing in you know an extra goodie for me <laughs> but I'm like okay thanks I don't really need them but now I'm gonna use these actually in here because um, we don't have enough copper for all this. Well, I do, but I want to save it for the these artsy ones. But hey, I'll use my extra keys. Should work fine. So metals work. Um, I'm actually going to get some powdered metals um, because they are uh, less time consuming. You don't have to uh, you don't have to chop up the shavings like I do and get them smaller. They're already small. They're like micron size. So uh, I'm going to get powdered metals and use those for a lot of my uh, generators. And uh, I think that's a good little tip, secret for any or orgon artist is, uh, is get powdered metals because they're really uh, conductive too. And, you know, that's what they're spraying up above us, um, filled with, uh, with deadly orgon energy, uh, D-O-R, DOR, as uh, Wilhelm Reich called it. And uh, so they're spraying deadly orgon energy on us. And they're in, they're pulsing out with these towers, deadly organ energy. So it makes sense to combat it with positive organ energy. So um, 